His name is James, James Cameron, the bravest pioneer. No budget too steep, no seat too deep. Well, I got James so desperate Cameron. on Terminator 2, trying to shorten that film to a you know manageable length, as we all understand that to be, that I said, well, wait a minute, do we really need all these frames? If we just took out one frame every second for the entire film, we'd shorten the film by a couple of minutes. Let's just do it as a test. We'll take a reel, and we'll take out one frame in every 24. And the editors looked at me like I was nuts. Let's just try it. Come on, nobody's ever done this. We took out one frame in every 24, and it was a mess. There were jerks, there were things, there were cuts in the wrong places. It, you, you totally saw it, and it just didn't work. Every one of those individual frames was important. Once you know that as an editor, now you get scared for a while. It's like, geez, you know, am I cutting here or am I cutting here? Uh, but then after a while, you start to realize that, that there's great power in that, too. The next two Avatar films, and we're just in the writing stage right now. I'm, I, you know, I'm supposed to be writing, but you know, I like to shoot. I like to keep my hand in. I like to operate cameras. I like to be on set solving problems. You know, it's like she comes up, guy hits with a hammer. <clears throat> Right. It's very freaky. To me, that exploration went in a lot of different directions. There was the physical exploration, just looking around in my town out in the woods, or whether it was underwater, just sort of swimming in the creek and putting on my little mask and swimming down, or whether it was, you know, the life of the mind, reading science fiction, going to other, going to other galaxies and other planets and, and that sort of thing. You know, I was a real geek as a kid. In high school, I started the science club, you know, and I was the president, which consisted of me and one girl from Czechoslovakia that didn't speak English, but it was the science club. And then all that sort of fed into this need to say something about what I was reading and seeing, and that turned into, you know, drawing, painting. And at a certain point in high school, I started writing. I wasn't very good. In fact, I think looking back on it, I was pretty terrible, but I had this, you know, sort of driving urge to tell stories. Well, my mom encouraged me to be creative, and my dad did exactly the opposite. And that was probably actually the best formula. I mean, my dad used to take my science fiction books out of my hands and throw them in the trash, saying that they were garbage and they were, you know, rotting my brain or, or, or to take my comic books away. So he made it the forbidden fruit, which was...